because we're using this two chart. And this two chart shows flow charts and diagrams. So let's just show you how it works. Can you please stop talking? I'm going to use the blank one. And I'll explain the different symbols, what these mean. We've done a little bit of this before. When you choose this one, do you see over there it says start? It says start, so that's indicating the start of something. So if I drag it on to there, it's meaning the start of a process. So a process means some form of work. We can color it in with this button over here, the paint bucket. So I'm going to choose a green. So we've got the start is in green. If I wanted to make the font bigger, double click and I can bring this and take it up to even 36. Probably it'll look a bit better if it's bigger, a bigger font. All right. Now, when you see this one, this is a process means some form of work. A process is a course of action intended to achieve some result. We need to get something out of it that we call the result. I'm going to map out a simple example of a study situation which might be relevant because you're going into your exams. In this simple example, the results at the end of the whole process are that you know your work. And in all processes, there needs to be a start. Well, here's our rectangle to show a process. Okay, it's, we're going to choose a yellow. The first step, we will describe the first actions, which are to be engaging with the content of our work. So we describe the activity to study. Let's just get it the right size. And we'll bring in a decision at the bottom here. And we know that's going to have an offshoot of a yes or a no. And here we're going to say to test. Because remember, you either know your work or do not know it. Let's just give it the right color. Purple's very appropriate. Purple mash. And we'll just reset the font size to a appropriate size. All right. And that looks quite good. I'm just going to duplicate this symbol because I'm going to bring in a yes and a no. just want to get it the right size. I think that should more or less do it. And we're going to also bring in our no. So we know that we'll create an N for no. And we'll understand in a moment what this is all about. We can ask ourselves, do I know my work? And either say, yes, I know my work. Or no, I do not know my work from studying. So we will decide or make a decision on the basis of the yes or no stemming from the test. In this, we have an either or situation. It's either yes or no. Let's duplicate this process study and bring in different topic. And that would be on the basis of you knowing your work. We would, if we know our work, we'll go on to a different topic because we have mastered that particular concept. And then we're just going to duplicate start because if you don't know work, your work, obviously you will return to studying. Let's just join these process arrows. So we go and then we'll explain them to us. Look at the way I construct these arrows. There's these dim little arrows. I drag it and release. I go on there, drag it, and release. And go from test, drag it, and release. Notice that the starting point, the ending point, is where the arrows end. I think that basically completes it. Just drag this a little bit bigger. Let's just get the font size appropriate. 24 should be great. And that really looks good. Let's try get some understanding of what we have here. We'll just neaten up things, but I think you'll find it really interesting to see how this fits into an understanding of how things work, the system of things. So what we have here is a start. We start studying something. We then test ourselves. If we know our work, we would say yes. We can move on to a different topic. The alternative would be no, I do not know my work, and therefore you'll go back to start. So just follow the arrows 
It'll direct you through the process. So if you do not know your work, you test your work, and you do not know it, you go back to start. Let's take a look at an animal example which links into natural sciences. It should help you to understand these process maps a lot better. We are looking at our lion hunting and seeing whether he either gets food or is unsuccessful in his hunt. These little diamond shapes are called questions. Does the lion get food? This one, can he hunt again is it possible for him to be able to hunt again if he's become so weak if he can get food then we would either say he moved towards the yes he is a successful hunter but with no then the lion would un be unable to get food and he would weaken until he would die he would not be able to survive but on a yes he would return and have enough strength to return to hunting and to once again engage in that process. This should give you some understanding of what processes are and how to map them in these sort of diagrams. So boys and girls, I hope you found this very useful and I'd look forward to seeing your work. We uh, would like you just to save them in the appropriate folders. Thank you.